Hello and good evening and welcome to the People Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of December 15th, 2020. Well, today McConnell and the Republican leadership held a basically a back to back uh, conference. But basically, McConnell basically told them that they will be not leaving until a deal has been made. Plus, uh, Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, as well as Bob Casey and, uh, from Pennsylvania and Senator Hirono from Hawaii, they held press conferences of their own. The main focus for the um, press conferences were vaccines as well as state and local funding. The question is, is, what did Schumer open with? Well, here's a clip to tell you that answer. I'll be right back. The COVID vaccine is light at the end of the tunnel. It's getting brighter every day. We have a long way to go, but we can't think that the crisis is over. We need to pass COVID relief to help our fellow Americans get by until we eradicate this virus. We need to fully fund not only production of the vaccine, but its distribution as well. The states badly need that money, and we need to get it done for every American. Senator Casey. Then Senator Casey got up. And here's what he had to say. We're very happy that we're at this point and that we can talk about uh, the vaccine being distributed as opposed to just being developed and, and hoped for. But I think we need to do at least two, th two key things. First, having more funding for state and local governments to distribute the vaccine and conduct mass vaccination campaigns on a scale that is unprecedented. So they're going to need help doing that. And here's Senator Hirono talking about, yep, you guessed it, state and local government funding. So here's a clip from her as well. And as mentioned, it's, it's not over yet. As you know, we're still dealing with an emergency COVID relief bill. And in a state like Hawaii, without the support for state and local governments, the governor has already announced furloughs, furloughs for every, basically every state employee. And that's adding to the suffering that's already going on. Then what was mentioned was, we're gonna to need to provide federal support for vaccine distributions. For Hawaii, the first hospital that's gonna get these doses is Queens Hospital, one of the largest healthcare providers in the state. It's gonna cost the state of Hawaii something like 25 to $75 million to distribute this vaccine. And Hawaii, I just noted, uh, is already furloughing their people. So while there is hope on the horizon, we have a lot more to do to enable the, the vaccination to, to be distributed to all the groups and communities that need them. And as you heard, all the senators talked about state and local funding, and Senator Schumer also talked about a stimulus bill or relief for the people. And Schumer was asked if $6 billion for vaccine was enough and here's a clip with him answering that question for you. Yes. Leader Schumer, is the $6 billion in the bipartisan proposal for vaccine distribution enough? And are you willing to set aside state and local for okay. to get the rest passed? Let me, on the first one, you know, I think uh, um, without talking about what will happen in that room, uh, I think we need more for distribution. Uh, on state and local, everyone knows my position. It has broad bipartisan support, and I'm not going to get into negotiations in any way that will occur at 4 o'clock. Yes. Senator McConnell last week suggested setting aside liability protections and setting aside state and local, and you, last week you criticized that. I mean, isn't that where these talks are going As I right said, now? I am not going to get into negotiations here. That will occur at 4 o'clock. Yes. Um, uh, one of your caucus members, Senator Sanders, is still pushing for the individual $1,200 stimulus checks. Is there any chance we could see that this well, month, again, or is that something down the road? I'm not going to get into negotiations in the room, but $1,200 um, in additional money to go to people is something many in our caucus, including me, support. And as you heard, every senator basically said that states need more money and if a stimulus package is passed without state and local funding it's going to basically hurt the democratic lead in the senate 
Chuck Schumer, as well as the leader of the Democrats in the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi. So basically, they're hoping that this this package does not get passed without state and local funding in it. Because, as you saw from the clips, they're all saying they need state and local government funding. And if you remember from earlier broadcasts, I, how I said how uh, Mitch McConnell said that state and local funding was part of Nancy, Nancy Pelosi's wish list for the Democratic cities to basically get out of having the current issues. Well, if you live in a Republican city, you know what he said is not true. Because every state right now is currently hurting because COVID-19 has shut down a lot of our businesses and made it so a lot of the revenues the states need to survive are running next to nothing. But this is my commentary on that topic. And if you like my content as well as like looking at me or my <laughs> or my green screen in the background, um, please let me know by hitting that subscribe button and turning your notifications on. So when I send, send out a video, you guys can get a copy of it and, and check it out. But until next time, you guys have a great Tuesday. Have an excellent evening. And I'll broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.